chopping, fuck behind the stores. Fuck behind the stores. You know that I got to get real, fuck behind the stores. Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a spend the day in a realistic life, work life of a mom of three while pregnant, okay? This video is gonna be super duper realistic and straightforward. Um, so as y'all see now, me and Kaden, not Kaden, oh my God, I got too many kids. Me and Tayden, so randomly happen to be in the bed together because in the mornings Tayden wakes up and he gets in my bed and he's literally the first one woke so literally this is an everyday thing it doesn't even matter what type of routine we have Tayden's gonna get in the bed with me and that's just that so I spent some a little time with him and then I had to go to the bathroom and do my daily pee because y'all know I'm pregnant and I'm always peeing, like always. So there was that and I basically ended up doing my skincare routine. If y'all want an in detail skincare routine, I can let y'all know the tea of it. But honestly, it's because I'm pregnant and that's really why I'm glowing, <laughs> if you want to be technical. But I'm basically washing my face, brushing my teeth, getting ready for the day. For those that have been asking where my bracelets are from, they are from Outer Spirit. Use my code Tatiana20 for money off. I love, love, love their bracelets. Outer Spirit has different types of bracelets that's meant for different intentions like love, confidence, anxiety, money, protection, production, good luck, etc. So make sure you check out Outer Spirit for your bracelets. So this would not be a realistic morning routine if I was not to sit here and tell y'all that I had dirty dishes piling up, okay? As a mom of three, okay, I, I just I just can't do dishes all the time. So yes, I had a pile of dishes to do. Tayden was literally waiting for a cup of juice and now I'm trying to make breakfast, okay? So like literally my life was chaotic. So this morning I ended up making some pancakes. Um, I ran out of strawberries, usually I give them a fruit. So I didn't have strawberries to pair it with, but I am making pancakes for all of us. It just starts our day off really great. And honestly, I be starving at around this time anyways. Like my baby be like, feed me. Like now, sis, the fuck. But um, yeah, so that is what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing, y'all, is literally just making breakfast for all of us. And yeah. Time 
so a small inconvenience happened Layla ended up peeing on herself which is not typically normal sometimes Layla does have her accidents she is potty trained but I've been working with Layla letting her know that she needs to start using the restroom so she was able to get her food but that's why you didn't see her earlier is because she was in the bathroom getting herself together cleaned up washed up and now I am able to enjoy my food my pancakes I was smacking child look I was smashing this food like I act like I ain't never ate before but yeah y'all I literally just go through some emails that I need to catch up with like sponsors I try to keep my mind focus on what I really need to get done instead of just jumping on social media but I ended up finishing and I actually wash dishes off camera one thing I can't stand is coming home to a dirty house I when I when after I get off work baby I want relaxation I want peace I want especially if anything has to be clean it has to be the dishes because I don't know it's just something about dirty dishes just stink make your as soon as you enter your house your house just stink like is it just my dishes maybe it's just me but I gotta wash my dishes and that's what I ended up doing and I put it back in the dishwasher I use my dishwasher for storage I don't know what y'all use our dishwasher for I don't even use my dishwasher to clean I literally use it just for storage ain't that crazy I know I ain't the only one but I ended up finishing doing that and simply just making sure my kitchen was clean before I headed out for work so on a typical work day i typically try to get the kids ready first it's something about just getting your kids ready and then getting yourself together just do it for me every time because one thing i will learn is i'll get myself together and then i'm all done up and then when i'm making them like get them all together by the time I done got them together, I look a mess. Like, I be all sweated out and everything. So, basically, just see me freshen them up. They did take a bath last night, but I like to just freshen them up with the rag, getting the crust out their eyes and stuff off their face, especially after they ate. They do make a mess. I pick out their clothes, get them dressed and everything like that. And this can either go good or bad because sometimes, like, they just don't be cooperating. And I'm not going to act like they just be some, like angels when i'm getting them dressed because they don't sometimes they be acting crazy but um yeah i'm literally just getting them dressed changing their diapers getting their shoes on because literally right here all i had to do was just put my um we're well, getting a shower and put my clothes on i did put Caden jacket on because he literally was insisting on me putting his jacket on y'all I, I don't typically do this usually i wait to the last minute but he thought we was leaving now so i literally i just said you know what Here's your jacket okay change dirty diapers and then boom now it's my turn to get dressed get in a shower get cleaned up and that's what y'all see me here doing basically getting ready for work okay Lastly, before we head out, after I get dressed and everything, I make sure they brush their teeth, especially Layla. Layla is um, most important because, whoo, child, no offense, Layla, I love you, girl, but she be needing them teeth brushed. <laughs> I love you, boo boo, but brush them teeth, girl. And the boys, oh my God, they give me the hardest time. Like, look at them. Look at them. But yeah, y'all, y'all just see me brushing their teeth. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I am about to drop off the kids, dads. Um, it is 9.51, I have to be at work by uh, 11, so wish me luck i'm literally running a little bit late which i know i'm kind of running late i'm not really running late it's just i rather i like to be like a little five minutes early before i get to work and um because i don't know i just don't like rushing you know so that's what that is i'm gonna take them to their dads i have to drop them off at two different destinations because i know kaden has a different dad than the rest of them 
So, let me turn this. But anyways, as y'all seen, um, me and the kids, morning routine i literally had to um it was all over the place and i'm not the one to tell you that i have this realistic ass morning routine because i do not i don't i really don't okay um there's days where it, it don't go as planned so today um i ain't gonna put little business out there but i'm pretty sure i don't know how i'm gonna edit this so i might have told y'all but since she's in the car i'm not gonna do that to her but um, we just had an accident today, so that kind of like, also don't mind these numbers y'all, these are the numbers that when they stole my car and I had to, yeah, I, I tell y'all this in every video, I do not know how to get this off my window. Anyways, I'm getting easily distracted. We had an accident this morning, so she had to take care of herself, that's why you only saw the boys eating at first, because she was in the bathroom getting herself together, but um, Anyways, um, like I was saying, every routine, every day is different. Like, sometimes I have to stop what I'm doing. I, sometimes I can't even finish what I'm doing or whatever the case like be. And that's just what happens when you're just like the only person in the house with the kids. So, yeah. The routine usually goes, you know, kind of smoothly for the most part. It goes smoothly. So, I get them ready. I get myself ready for work. And I drop the kids off. I have to drop... Kaden off first and then um, Layla and Tayden and then I go straight to work sometimes if I drop them off early because today I got to be at work at 11 um, and I don't work long hours y'all because y'all know I'm pregnant and I already told them like I'm not working long hours um, I can work like pretty much every day but I'm not working long hours if I don't have to so yeah, I'm getting off at 4 30 so it's gonna be a, a little five and a half hour shift nothing too crazy but um, sometimes I'll go, oh my God, these people are driving so slow. Sometimes if I have extra time, I'll drop them off and then I'll go to like, um, I'll end up going to my house and just sitting down for a second. But today it's not looking like one of those days, which is okay. But after I drop them off, I'm going straight to work. And then, yeah. And then once I get off work, I go home and their dads uh drops them off so i don't have to worry about having to like um pick them up or anything because child that'd be so much gas i'm wasting and i literally forgot my perfume at home good thing i sprayed a lot because i literally forgot the perfume but yeah y'all that is pretty much what i'm gonna do i'm dropping them off right now i'll hit y'all later probably when i get to work or something because i'm driving and i really need to start driving driving so I'll catch y'all probably when I'm at work. So I just dropped off the kids and I literally just made it to work. It's 11.01 so yeah it's that time. But hopefully I have a good day at work today. It'll go by fast. Um... I usually keep all my stuff in my car. I ain't gonna hold you. But I bring my keys, my phone, and my badge. And yeah, so we're finna go ahead, go to work. I'll probably come back to y'all once I'm off work and I'll tell y'all how it goes. But good energy, good positive day. God, please have this day go by fast, okay? And I'll see y'all after I get off work. Hey y'all, so I just got off work and drained it's 4 40 but today we actually went good surprisingly everything went smooth and it was a fast day and it's probably because who i worked with too um um i don't know it seemed like when you work with people that you actually like enjoy and you can relate to um you tend to like your shift and it goes by faster but it is 4 41 um i'm just now leaving out of my job and i'm in literally five o'clock four o'clock traffic everybody finna be acting like they can't drive and yeah i literally live right off the street but the street is so long that it takes me about 20 minutes to get to my house 
so that's what we're doing um the kids usually come around 5 36 kaden comes home around um 6 30 and Layla and Ted and they come they, they it just depends anything after five is usually when they come home um but yeah when I get home um I'm literally about to just sit down and chill um and I'm gonna make I don't know why but like when I it's like I have a routine of like what I eat when I come home so I'll literally make me a peanut butter sandwich because I be feeling like that's my protein and whatever but i'm gonna make me a peanut butter sandwich when i get home today get home and then i'm gonna just chill get in some comfortable clothes relax my feet baby because my feet hurts um and wait till the kids get home and then i just basically unwind them down i let them play like all that stuff and then tonight i'm going to be making some shrimp tacos Whoop whoop, shrimp tacos, real easy. I be trying to make, when I work, I'm sorry y'all, like as a mom, I wanna be a realistic. I cannot make full course meals and I'm sorry, I'm not, if I was a stay at home mom, cool. But the fact that I actually have to like work and then I come home and I'm pregnant, I'm tired, I can't make full course meals. So shrimp tacos, they loved it the last time. So I'm making shrimp tacos again. Yeah, y'all, that's what we're doing right now. I'm literally heading to the house right now. I'm gonna get off here with y'all because it is five o'clock rush hour and I do not wanna have a car accident. So I'll catch y'all at the house. Y'all, so the kids are all back. There's Tate and Layla, baby Kaden. Um, we're literally about to do these little let me show them. these little things right here um this is actually today's sponsor which y'all about to see here in a second but we're gonna do some bonding time with Anna. hey we're gonna do it in a minute just give it a second say hi Kaden. hi say hi layla say hi Kaden. <laughs> funny because y'all rarely have seen them in so long and a lot of people have been saying like they have gotten so big and they actually have gotten so big since the last time y'all seen them y'all we are about to do this hopefully hey get back hopefully this goes right i don't know how to really do this but hopefully there's instructions or something um but yeah that's what we're about to do hey I also need to get some um, sheets and blankets washed for Layla's bed and Kaden's. So don't mind that. Only one that got like actual proper sheets is Tayden's. But yeah, y'all, let's see what this is about. Thank you, Makebug, for sponsoring today's video. Hey, loves. So as many of you guys know, I am a mom of three and I take pride in being a hands-on mom. One thing I've been trying to add to me and the kids routine is more bonding time. Makebug has made it just that easy for you and your kids to have quality one-on-one -on -one time. If you're looking for a project to do with your kids, Makebug is definitely for you and your family. Makebug provides you with a specific paper animals for you to put together with simple step-by-step -step instructions. I love how it challenges me and my kids so we can work together to solve an amazing masterpiece. As you can see, me and Layla love putting together the butterflies and to see it come together was definitely our favorite part. I love how Makebug gives you a variety of options to choose from. I was able to let Layla open them up to choose which animals she wanted to put together. As a busy mom of three, you guys know that I am always working and always doing something. And sometimes I can kind of forget like what I can do fun for with the kids. So Makebug has made it that easy for us. And I love how we're able to work together and build together. That way we're also doing something productive and also interacting with each other making sure that we're still spending that quality time with each other. Also, one thing I definitely feel like we learned was working together. This also teaches you and your child how to work together, especially when you're helping them, because this may be a little bit difficult for some ages. So it definitely teaches the kids to work together and how to follow instructions. That way they can better 
help with their skills and basically challenge them and also they come out with a amazing projects at the end so this definitely was a great project for us make sure you guys check out makebug all my links will be in the description box below coupon codes if necessary and thank you makebug for sponsoring today's video uh, so as y'all seen if y'all watch the sponsor portion um okay give me one second like we me and layla just made some butterflies and a ladybug has to be the most tedious one of them all but we made these we made butterflies yep um i try i ain't gonna say every day but i try to get at least something some type of bonding time so this is something cute start printing off like activities with the kids to do like um learning activities and stuff like that i'm literally about to get like a um i'm literally about to make them like a learning bucket stop don't throw that again we're about to make them a learning bucket that way they can like come home do some fun activities just some bonding one-on-one -on -one time because i noticed that sometimes i neglect the fact that you know our routines are very you know kind of they're kind of stri straightforward and sometimes i forget like okay well we gotta have bonding time too so um this was a good bonding time definitely for me and layla the boys don't really care they really don't like they're literally just playing we got Kaden on the slide so yeah they really don't be caring too much but me and Layla was able to make a butterfly well some butterflies and a ladybug so yeah y'all um right now it is 7 34 um I think I want to start making shrimp tacos around eight o'clock so at eight I'm gonna start making my shrimp tacos I'm gonna let them play around for a minute I like to let them play get all out their system and then once we make some shrimp tacos, I'm going to get them bathed and then we're going to go ahead and lay them down. And I'm going to lay myself down too, period. And yeah, y'all, um, that's pretty much going to sum up the rest of this video. But I'm going to catch y'all when it's time to cook. We're officially at 8.43 and I know I was supposed to have gotten dinner way earlier, but y'all know this is realistic so i'm gonna be realistic with y'all i do not sometimes i'll be behind schedule i let my shrimp defrost so my shrimp is ready she says she wants baked beans it does not go with the dinner but she wants it so i'm gonna get it because i kind of want it too i'm gonna get my corn tortillas and literally make shrimp tacos I literally just finished making them dinner. Um, I want to be realistic with y'all as possible. If I have leftovers from anything, even if it don't go with the dinner because we're making shrimp tacos, so chicken alfredo kind of does not go with the dinner. But if it's any leftovers, baby, I'm going to reuse them. So we had made chicken alfredo not last night, but the night before. So 
Yes, they have a little bit of Alfredo just so we can finish. I'm just gonna use the chicken Alfredo just so that we can finish out the leftovers because I don't like to waste food. So um, I gave them a little bit of chicken Alfredo. So don't be like, that don't even go with it. I know it's gonna be somebody out there. Dang, focus. I just know it's gonna be somebody out there that's like, that don't even match, like, no. Made them shrimp tacos, I gave Layla, I, make it, I made Layla two because she's gonna eat two. The boys are not gonna eat two. And then I got them some baked beans and um, yeah, with the, with the chicken alfredo. I got my shrimp tacos right here. And yeah, y'all, we finna go ahead and eat and everything. Um, I'm finna actually do this off camera because Y'all, this is really hectic. I don't know how people do this on YouTube where they just be like filming everything, but this is too much. So what I'm gonna do is feed the boys and the, feed the boys. I'm gonna feed the kids, I'm gonna eat myself, and then I'm gonna come back to y'all when it's time for them to lay down and stuff like that because I just, my life is hectic. So I might just get them all situated, have them eat, get them situated, and then come back to y'all when it's time for me to get situated because it's just too much my life is hectic right now so i'll be back because right now i'm having one of the moments okay i'm having one of the moments right, y'all so i just fed the kids and laid them down what time is it it is 9 44 y'all gotta get some oil because my freaking hair itches so bad put on my bonnet oops Yeah, I gotta get some oil. My my scalp is on fire. All right, I had to treat. I, I can't stand a sponsor that is very cheap, but want to rush you. No, no. You know, cause I one thing I don't tolerate is being rushed. Don't rush me. Don't rush me at all. Hold on, y'all. Let me get me some wipes. All right. So yeah, y'all. I had to. I have to just because they're in a different time zone as me and I told them I'll have the video sent to them by Thursday the end of Thursday it's only Wednesday y'all are in different times they're in Sh not Chicago they're in like um age in some Asian country or something like that so they're going to obviously be a day ahead so when I tell you my I'm in a different if you know I'm in a different country, you know our times are not the same, bro. Stop. But um what was I gonna say? Yeah, y'all took off my eyebrows that y'all can clearly see. I had to lay down, call it a day. This was our realistic day in a life of a mom of three while I'm pregnant at work. Do -do 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 -do. today was a busy day it was a hectic day it's 9 48 i gotta go to sleep i'm trying to be asleep by 10 30 but yeah that's how we do it over here um hope y'all enjoyed today's video if y'all did give me a thumbs up um and i'll catch y'all my next video y'all i really do appreciate everybody that tuned in yeah i'll catch y'all my next one